At the end of this video, you should have a ready and working wallet for Ethereum on MetaMask and Solana on Phantom. I'll also show you how to navigate the interfaces of these wallets and how to add money from your crypto exchanges over to these wallets. At the very end, there'll also be some advanced and bonus things that you can do. Let's go! Now, why should you even set up a wallet? There are three main motivations. The first and primary motivation is to transfer coins to your wallet so you can use it on decentralized apps or dApps all over the internet. Some examples of dApps are marketplaces where you can buy NFTs or games where you can use NFTs as in-game assets. A second other reason is for added security. This is primarily true for what we call cold wallets or these hardware wallets where you can put your money and assets in. For this video, we're gonna be focusing on wallets that are digital and online. One last benefit is that depending on the wallet, you can use the extra features of that wallet, such as showing off your NFTs, or staking. First wallet we'll be talking about is MetaMask. Now, why should you use MetaMask? It's one of the most used wallets right now for Ethereum with 10 million monthly active users. Let's walk step-by-step step in how to create a wallet on MetaMask. On Chrome or Brave, go to metamask.io. Download the MetaMask extension. Now click this and click create new wallet. Agree to the terms. Now enter a secure password and make sure you remember what this password is. There's a video here. Watch this if you'd like to deeply understand how best to secure your wallet. You'll see this thing called seed phrase or secret recovery phrase. Basically these words on the screen. Now this is extremely important and a very new thing for crypto wallets. Basically, when you open up your phone or need to add your wallet to another browser or computer, the only way you can open up this exact set of wallets is with your recovery phrase. That also means that if anyone else has access to your recovery phrase, then they can open up your wallet and hack your account. So you have to keep it hidden from anyone else. Now on this next screen, you want to confirm your secret recovery phrase. So make sure you wrote it out somewhere. This needs to also be chosen in the right order. And then you are done. You can always access MetaMask via your Chrome extension just by clicking the icon here at the very top right. You can also access MetaMask on your mobile phone. Now I'm going to walk you through the MetaMask interface and the different parts of the wallet. I'm going to emphasize the parts that are probably going to be most relevant for you or me. All right, let's start from the very top. This area here called mainnet dropdown, you don't have to mind. It's going to be more advanced for developers. Next is accounts. If you click top right, you can access your settings and you can create a new wallet under this account. This lock is used in case you want to lock your wallet if you're sharing your computer with someone else so that it requires a login when someone wants to access it again. The numbers over here are the amount of Ethereum that you hold in this particular wallet or amount of dollars that you have. Below, we have buy, send, and swap buttons. You could also technically buy directly from MetaMask. However, the transaction fees are high, so I don't recommend it. Swap means you can swap your existing Ethereum tokens for other tokens. Send is like Venmo. If you want to send coins you have to other people, you just get their public address and put it in here after clicking send. Next is assets you own. So it shows the different coins or assets that you have and the amount or price. And lastly, we have activity. It's going to be a short history of your transactions or activity from this wallet. And that's it for understanding the basic MetaMask interface. The next wallet we're going to create is the Phantom wallet. Now why use Phantom? It is the most popular wallet nowadays for holding your Solana coins. So it's only used for Solana, at least today. There are about 580 to 600,000 monthly active users as of today. Now how to create a Phantom wallet? You can go to phantom.app on Chrome or Brave and download the Phantom extension. Click create new wallet if you want a new wallet. 
Similar to MetaMask, here's your secret recovery phrase. Make sure you keep it somewhere safe where only you can find it. Click OK. Create a password and store this somewhere safe as well. It's going to show you a reminder for the keyboard shortcut to access Phantom anytime. Click Next and you're done. You can always access your Phantom wallet via the extensions. Phantom doesn't yet have a mobile app, but it soon will. I know this because my boyfriend is working on it. All right, now understanding the Phantom interface. So we have our main tab. At the very, very top over here, you can see your wallet address. Just click and it'll automatically copy it to your clipboard. You have the amount of dollars and Solana that you have on this wallet, the growth of Solana in a day. You'll see buttons where you can receive or send the assets and Solana coins that you have. You'll see the list of tokens that you own. You see the amount that you have staked. If you don't know what staking means, watch this video over here. See recent activity that you have anytime you're making a transaction. And then you have the rest of your token list that you can manage. Let's jump over to the next tab. This is the collectibles tab. If you own any NFTs, your wallet will show it here. This particularly if you have any Solana NFTs. The next tab is your swap tab. You can swap your soul for any other type of soul token. Next tab is all of your recent transactions and history. Now see, I wanna show you the settings. So you can name your wallet and this is how you do it here through your settings. This is because you can actually create multiple wallets within one account. You have your address book. You can add the addresses of other people that you usually send or receive money from. Some trusted apps, change password, very straightforward. An auto lock timer. So Phantom will usually auto lock the extension every so often so that you have to enter your password to enter it again. The default that they have is very fast so I recommend pushing it out to about 10 minutes, 15 minutes so that you don't get locked out so quickly. Change network, don't mind that, it's mainly for developers. Export private key. It's like a copy function for your private key in case you want to access this on any other application. Show recovery phrase if you ever forget you can copy it here. Always keep this safe. And the rest are other types of settings. Now that you've set up your MetaMask and Phantom, you're probably wondering, well, what do I do with this now? Well, to make any other transactions from your wallet to decentralized apps, well, you're gonna need some money. You're gonna do this by moving the coins that you bought in exchanges such as Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, FTX, and transferring it over to your wallets. Here's how to do it, assuming you've already bought some of your coins. I'm gonna just do it for one of the wallets because the process is fairly the same. You go to your exchange. My exchange is Coinbase. Now go back to your wallet. Let's say I'm gonna use Phantom or Solana. At the very top, click to copy your public address to the clipboard. Now you're here, go back to Coinbase, click send and receive. Enter the amount that you wanna transfer over to your Phantom wallet. Paste the public address that you have copied. Put in some message and be sure to change this dropdown to the corresponding coin that you're sending. Phantom only receives Solana. So if you put in your public address of Phantom, but then it still says Ethereum in this dropdown, well, your money's gonna go nowhere. It's gonna be gone forever. So be sure you have the right one. And then click send. Confirm the transaction. And then you can go to your Phantom wallet. And remember when I was showing the interface, how you could see all of the activity and transaction history? Click on that tab and you should see your transaction come through after a couple minutes. A couple bonus things for you. First, the aesthetics. Here's another wallet that you can try. It's called Rainbow Wallet. Go to rainbow.me. Play around with their interface. It's really cute. It'll basically just aesthetically show you your different transactions, your NFTs in a more beautiful way. So for me, for example, I can type rainbow.me slash my public address, and then I can see my NFTs, I can see my transaction history in a pretty aesthetic way. Now for some security things, you wanna go really deep on advanced security for your wallet. More information about added security wallets in this other video over here. You now have wallets. Congratulations. As always, if you like the content on this channel, I appreciate a like and subscribe. Comment down below for any suggestions for future crypto content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Huh?
that are okay just erase that okay the day yeah